Perfect. I'm Chandra Natsalansi, contributing editor to Woodworker's Journal magazine. And one of my favorite parts of finishing any project is mounting the hardware. Those gleaming little bits of brass, bronze, or chrome really add some nice highlights to the look of a piece in addition to being essential and functional. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you a few different uh, tips and techniques for uh, making all your hardware mounting tasks go a little bit smoother and to assure that the final results will be perfect. If you're installing surface mount hinges like these butterfly hinges, it's really important to get the hinge barrels both parallel to with each other and the edge of the workpiece. Of course, I'm going to use a piece of double stick tape to hold uh, one hinge leaf uh, to the work while I drill the holes. And I'm using a uh, Krieg Multimark tool here to align the hinge barrel. Once the hinge is stuck in place, I can go ahead and use a self-centering bit to drill my pilot holes. Now, since I'm working in hard maple, uh, instead of deriving my screws directly, because these are soft brass, I'm going to use a steel screw of the exact same size and length, and I'm going to drive it in and out of each pilot hole to essentially pre-tap it before I drive the, uh, the soft brass screws into place. This makes it much less likely that you're going to break a screw or uh, strip the head out. Of course, I'm applying a little bit of wax to make the driving all that much easier. When you're mounting hardware on softwoods like pine, every once in a while you'll get a spinner, a screw that simply won't tighten. The screw just turns and turns. In this case, you want to unmount the, uh, the hardware. And now we're going to use a regular uh, toothpick or two to um, go ahead and uh, fill the hole out again. Uh, try them, go ahead and try them into the hole and break one off if you need to until you get a pretty tight fit in there. And uh, once you're happy with that, just put a little bit of plain old carpenter's glue onto those toothpicks and press them down as far as they'll go into the hole. Once they're tight, just go ahead and snap them off. Let the glue dry. And then go ahead and redrill the pilot hole and remount the hardware. Just be a little bit gentle uh, as you're driving those screws. Uh, working with those soft woods. Mortising hardware into the surface of the work is a process that some woodworkers fear, but here I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, the process I use. Um, if it's a regular square hinge, I'm going to go ahead and use a uh, tri-square and a marking knife to incise a line that first marks one edge of the hinge and then the other. The incised line left by the knife is going to make it easier when we trim up the uh, mortise later. And here I'm using uh, the uh, Craig Multimark tool to align the uh, hinge nice and straight and also to guide the knife in order to mark the back edge of the hinge leaf. Now I'm going to use a sharp pencil to uh, make our lines more clear so when we're routing we can see what we're doing. And now I'm going to take a laminate trimmer fitted with a straight bit, and we're going to use it to remove most of the waste from our mortise. Now when we're done, we're going to grab a uh, real sharp bench chisel, and we're going to trim the last little bit all the way back to the incised line. And those uh, marking knife incisions make it a lot easier to um, align the knife right with the edge of the mortise that we want to get. Get a quick little scrape and we're ready to go ahead and uh, fit our hinge and drill the pilot holes and mount it with our screws. If you'd rather skip the entire chisel and router mortising process, uh, pick up a pair of these easy mortise hinges. 
um, once you align the semicircular portion of the hinge, uh, go ahead and mark its inside edge of the leaf. And now uh, with a um, caliper set to half the diameter of that hinge leaf, I'm going to mark the center point of that semicircular hinge leaf. And then I'm going to use my uh, multi-mark tool to uh, put, transfer that mark uh, to my other hinge. Now I'm using a, um, a regular uh, awl to make a dimple that I'm going to use to align the uh, 30 millimeter diameter Forstner bit that will create the actual mortise for the hinge leaf. I've already preset the uh, bit's depth of cut to just a skosh less than the thickness of the hinge. Clamp the piece down. Make a shallow semicircular hole, and we're ready to fit and mount the uh, the hinge in place. When hinges require a more complicated mortising process, the uh, Jigit um, hinge template system is really good to use. Uh, here I'm aligning the two halves of my box uh, where I'm going to mount the hinges along the edge where the hinges are going to go. Uh, check with a straight edge, and now I'm going to go ahead and attach and align the uh, the Jigit uh, template system. First, I'm going to center it with the back or the side edges of the box, and go ahead and tighten the fence in place. And once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and clamp the uh, the two box halves uh, to the Jigit template itself in preparation for routing. That's also important to um, clamp the entire assembly to the bench so it doesn't move around during the process. Now I've got my router fitted with a guide bushing and a straight bit and I'm using the uh, the first uh, segment of our Jigit template, the A segment, to make the first pass. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the depth of the bit uh, flat against the surface of the wood itself. And now on the router, I'm going to use the hinge leaf to set the depth of cut by putting the leaf in between the uh, stop and the uh, turret there. Once it's a loose fit, I'm going to go ahead and lock the router's depth stop. And now our bit is going to cut just deep enough to create our hinge mortise. So, I set the guide bushing uh, into the first um, slot in the template, turn it on, and uh, route our first passes. When that's done, you can see that we've created our first uh, portion of this complicated mortise. Um, now we're going to go ahead and pop out the particular template that's used for these uh, quadrant hinges. We're going to align the uh, the second cut, which is labeled B, with the um, appropriate line on the um, mortise template setup, and we're going to route our second portion of the hinge and then repeat the process for the third portion as well. Now you can see we've created a snug-fitting, uh, perfectly sized mortise that's going to be clean and look really good on our finished box.